so beta we have another question and the topic that we are learning is income statement uh, of a manufacturing business now there's a question with question number four we have already done preparing the manufacturing account for this and now it's the time to make the income statement let us read the requirement uh, we are going to do part b we need to prepare a trading account now what is a trading account beta Trading account is uh, income statement till gross profit only and not the final profit. Okay, so in this question, we are only going to make income statement till gross profit, and then we also have to make one more requirement is there we need to prepare a provision for unrealized profit account PUP account. We already did pre PUP account in the first question. Now, let us prepare an income statement first till gross profit. Now, beta, first of all, beta income statement, we have sales, also known as revenue. Then if there is any sales return, we are going to deduct that as well. Then we have beta cost of sale and cost of sale beta is always for uh, finished goods. Okay, we are going to make this income statement for outlet first. Opening inventory beta would be for finished goods and it must be on the transfer price. Then we need to add market value of finished goods. And how do we calculate beta market value of finished goods? We must have been calculated it while preparing this manufacturing account and this is the transfer value or market value this is the final answer of part a would go on in part b okay market value of finished goods and there can also be purchase of finished goods we have discussed previously if we are buying some of the goods uh, from the outside supplier because we are not manufacturing them so therefore we can also write purchase of finished goods here after this market value then there would be better closing inventory for finished goods again then it would be a cost of sale if we add and subtract these values and if we deduct sales and cost of sale we are going to get what gross profit okay so in this question beta we are only going to do it till gross profit why because the question clearly shows we need to prepare a trading account trading account beta it's a partial income statement from sales till gross profit okay so uh, from sales till gross profit it it is termed as a trading account and from gross profit to uh, profit for the year it is termed as a profit and loss account and the entire thing is known as income statement so but first of all what we need we need revenue okay revenue means sales as you can see revenue is given and revenue is beta always for uh, finished goods and not the uh, raw material or work in progress then we have beta opening inventory and opening inventory would be for finished goods and it must be the transfer price and not the cost price now beta as you can see in this question the year is ending when year is ending 31st december then it it must have been started on 1st january 2007 okay 1st january so let us see do we have inventory for 1st january so beta inventory for january or inventory for 31st december 2006 means the same thing okay so beta the closing inventory for previous year that is 2006 would be opening inventory for current year that is 2007 now as you can see it's written here stock at cost so this means a uh, raw material work in progress and finished goods all of these are on the cost price and for finished goods beta we do not need the cost instead we always need transfer price okay so cost means that the goods that we had at the end of 2006 uh, the factory cost was this but we do not need the factory cost we need the transfer price that is the price that the factory has charged their outlet that contains factory profit so beta what was the profit for the previous year let us read this note number uh, four at 31st December 2006 that is the last year completed goods have been transferred from the manufacturing account to trading account at what cost plus 29 percent but if it's cost plus 29 percent then it's a markup and as you may be aware beta that markup is always applied on cost so we have the cost and we have the markup we can directly apply 29 percent on this in order to get the factory profit now instead of uh, just multiplying it with 29 percent i am going to up, uh, multiply it with 129 percent why because 129 percent would also contain this cost and the factory profit and we can directly get the transfer price so the goods that cost factory of hail and tong 12300 they actually sold the outlet for how much 15867 okay 
so for outlet basically the cost is now 15867 because these goods cost outlet how much 15867 so just remember beta while we are making income statement we always take opening and closing inventory uh, on not the cost of the factory but the transfer price then we have market value of finished goods it's already given here transfer value or market value beta it's 112640 transfer value or market value is 1126140 then do we have other things as well do we have other things uh, then we have bit of closing inventory and closing inventory must also be for the transfer price and not the cost price so do we have bit of closing inventory let us see stock of finished goods were valued at transfer price of 18769 as it's as you can see beta uh, closing inventory is already given on the transfer price so we do not need to do anything we can just uh, take it immediately transfer price so opening add market value less closing we are going to get cost of sale so better the goods that we have sold in the outlet for how much 17 lakh 50 thousand these goods cost the outlet how much uh, 11 lakh 23 thousand 238 and the difference between the two would be the gross profit and we are only going to solve it till gross profit here if instead we are required to prepare the complete income statement then we need to add other income and we need to deduct the expenses for what outlet and then we can get the uh, profit from trading and then we can also adjust it for factory profit so, but in this question we are only going to solve it till here and beta the next requirement that we do have we need to prepare what we need to prepare a pup account provision for unrealized profit account and the examiner has given 10 marks for that and let us see how to prepare this pup provision for unrealized profit account so beta while making a provision account you must remember that provision is always credit in nature okay it's a contra asset and provision is always credit either it's a provision for unrealized profit account either it's provision for depreciation account or it's a provision for doubtful debt account it is always what it is always credit in nature so beta the opening balance balance bd must also uh, always be on credit and if balance bd is on credit then the balance cd must always be on the debit then beta the profit that we have charged this year uh, the entry would be beta manufacturing account we are going to debit the manufacturing account and provision account is going to be credited so beta provision is credit in nature by default and at the end of the year we need to close this provision account uh, and we need to transfer it to where income statement and this is the value for the factory realized profit okay this is the profit that the factory has actually earned okay so how can we calculate beta uh, unrealized profit on opening inventory we just did this as you can see opening inventory cost was given and we just need to apply 29 percent markup why because uh, beta on the cost we always apply markup 29 percent on the cost would be profit of 3567 okay so the goods that cost uh, factory 12300 factory charge uh, 3567 of profit from their own outlet and they sold it for how much 15867 so we are only concerned with the profit right now unrealized profit that is 3567 now at the end of the year uh, this factory profit beta we have already learned how to find this uh, and we need to uh, find it using a manufacturing account and this is 304140 this is the factory profit now beta opening inventory had this much of profit this year the goods that we sold to the outlet the factory charge further profit of this and now we are supposed to see that how much profit is unrealized at the end of the year so beta what we need to do we need to apply the percentage the, uh, at the end of the year but the problem here in this question is that at uh, the percentage 29 percent that we are being provided uh, belongs to the last year and not the current year okay beta in the current year we are not being given the percentage instead uh, we were being given the transfer value and we calculated a uh, manufacturing cost previously and the difference between the factory cost and the factory selling price would be the factory profit now we have already calculated this year profit and with the help of that we are going to find the percentage okay the percentage that the factory charged outlet this year because previously in the last year factory charged profit of how much 
29% but that was markup so uh, at the end of the year we do not need markup instead we need margin why because beta at the end of the year as you can see we are being given the finished goods at the transfer price but you must remember that on the cost price we apply markup percentage and on the selling price beta we are going to apply margin percentage now beta the previous year that is 2006 end of the year uh, the cost was given so therefore the markup was suitable but at the end of the year cost is not given instead the price is given so it's better to apply margin directly so if we calculate markup first then again we need to convert the markup into margin so it's better to find the margin directly so beta how can we calculate the margin as you can see this year how much profit the factory has charged uh, their outlet 304140 and what is the beta total value of the revenue or total value of the market value or transfer value is 112640 so if we are charging 304140 profit from our own outlet on the goods that we have sold them for how much 1126 if we divide the profit with the transfer value we can get beta margin okay so how much profit is there 304140 and how much is the uh, transfer value it's 1126 if we apply multiply by 100 in order to find the percentage so better the percentage that we are getting is 27.00 this means it's a 27 percent margin so once we get 27 percent margin beta we can apply this margin directly to the closing inventory and how much closing inventory do we have at the end of the year it's 18769 and is it the transfer price or cost price it's a transfer price so beta on the price we are always going to apply the margin but instead if it was a cost price then uh, then we need to apply markup okay now as you can see with a closing inventory uh, profit is given and opening inventory profit is given and factory profit is given so can we uh, add up both of these sides in order to calculate this balancing figure yes as you can see better the bigger side is always credit here because we need to find this debit side so the bigger side is beta credit side 307707 and if we write 307707 on both of the sides and if we deduct the closing inventory profit we are uh, we can get this uh, realized profit so beta this is the profit that the factory has actually realized this year it is how much it is 302638 okay so this is basically the realized profit and this is the profit we are going to carry it forward to where uh, income statement if we are supposed to make complete income statement so this is the factory realized profit that is uh, going to be added to the uh, profit from trading in order to find the overall profit so this is the profit that is earned by the factory